Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to reissue an employee's paycheck. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want you to pay special attention in this video because there is a certain process you want to follow if you run payroll through QuickBooks and you need to reprint or reissue a paycheck to an employee. Okay. So this can happen in business. You know, you, you give a paycheck to an employee, they lose it, it gets destroyed. Who knows? There's all sorts of reasons this can happen. And they come to you and they say, okay, I need a new paycheck because I lost this one. I, you know, whatever, it got destroyed and I need you to reprint me a paycheck. And you say, okay. So the first inclination that most people are gonna think of wanting to do is they're gonna wanna void the paycheck in QuickBooks and then create a new one. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the proper process of how to do this, because you can really screw up your payroll records if you don't follow this process. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna to go to the employee dropdown menu, and you're gonna see this option here that says edit void paychecks. Okay, this is very, very important. First, you wanna go here, and it's gonna bring up the screen of, you know, here are the paychecks. You wanna put in the right date of whatever the, you know, the the paycheck was run, and you're gonna see the paychecks here for the various employees. So let's say that it was this first one here, Dan Miller, check number 10073. And uh, you know the uh, this employee, Dan, came to you and said, I need you to reprint or reissue this paycheck. Now, look at this warning up here. It says, avoid costly mistakes. Voiding paychecks cannot be undone. The only common reason to void a paycheck is if you created it by accident, okay? Now, so you don't want to go in and void a paycheck because what it's what's going to happen is, you know, as you issue that paycheck, it's recording all these payroll liabilities and everything that you need to pay over to the government. And if you void this, it's going to back those out. So it could severely mess up your payroll deposits, your payroll forms, et cetera. So you do not want to void the paycheck when you need to reprint or reissue a paycheck. Okay, so what you want to do we double click on this, we're gonna pull up this paycheck. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make note of the check number. So this is 10073, uh, the date, 12-15-23, the amount, 12-99-60, and it's to Dan Miller. All right, so that's really all you're gonna need for this uh, from this screen here. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is if you print paychecks from QuickBooks, click this and you say print later and it's gonna allow you to reprint this, all right? Now, if you handwrite your checks, don't check this and just simply change the check number to a different check number. So let's say that now we said this was 10096. Okay, so if you handwrite it and it's check 10096, you're gonna put this in here and save and close. We're gonna say that we print these from QuickBooks. So we're gonna click print later. And we're gonna hit save and close. You've changed the transaction, do you wanna record? Yes. Okay, so now you'll see here, there's no check number for this check. And if we go down to file print forms and we go to, should be under paychecks, there it is right there. So we can go in. We can reprint this, make sure you put in the first check number, all right? And you print it off, you sign it, you give it to the employee, great. Now we have to record that that previous check, 10073, was voided. All right, so what you wanna do, we're gonna go ahead and go out of here. You're gonna go to your check register, okay? So let's say that this is the checking account and what you're gonna do, is you can go in here and you can enter the check, okay? Now, a little bit easier thing for people to do is actually go to banking and write checks, okay? So if we go to banking, uh, write checks, this is a little bit easier screen. You can, you can enter it directly in the register or you can pull up this write check screen. All right, so we're gonna type in Dan Miller and you'll see this warning that says if you're writing a paycheck, uh, you know, we would recommend you turn on payroll, calculate payroll correctly, not now. You may get another warning that says, hey, you need to you know, pay this person through payroll. 
just click OK, ignore it, it's fine. All right, so up here you want to put in the paycheck number, that previous number that you are voiding. 10073, you put in the date of that check, that was 1215, and you put in the amount. 1299.60. Okay. Now down in the memo, uh, you can put in replacement or I'm sorry, original paycheck. You don't have to put anything in there. And down here under account, what you want to do is just simply go to gross wages. All right. So we're going to leave the customer job in the class and everything um, blank. And then we're going to hit save and close. Let me hit save anyway. All right. So now you see if we go to 1073 Dan Miller gross wages, that's the check we just wrote. Now what you want to do is you want to right click and then you want to say void check. So this will record that you voided 10073. All right. It shows it as zero. So it's not going to, it's going to show zero for the gross wages. And so we say record. You have changed it. Yes. To maintain the accuracy of your financial reports, the balance of the accounts. Okay. Just void the check because this was previously reconciled for a report. Okay. So we have voided the original paycheck. So now the check number in there is voided. And then we have file to print the new paycheck. Okay. So again, a very specific process you want to follow. Don't go in and just void a paycheck. It can cause a lot of problems, right? For more issues, errors uh, with three free videos, head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. When you purchase the training tutor tutorials, you become a member and I help you with your QuickBooks questions. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.